fundamentals of the market. We have KL, KR, Sentil Nathan, uh, Director of Investments at NAFA Asset Managers joining us on the show. Hi, good to be speaking with you. Just wanted to begin by asking you about the market setup itself. Uh, a lot of the participants believe that perhaps the peak has already been made and the triggers with respect to, let's say, uh, election or a budget, they're already priced in. What's your take? To what should be the realistic, res uh, you know, uh, real realistic return expectation for this year? Uh, thank you for having me. Good afternoon. So uh, always we believe that the elections and uh, the other events are source of volatility, and uh, this volatility should be used to for our uh, gains uh, rather than uh, thinking of market topping it up, etc. And always there is an opportunity in the markets. Uh, there will be eventually there will be a sectoral rotation, and we have to pick the right stocks and uh, be in the right place. And still we can make money uh, that's what we believe in and uh, we can make a that a long term return of 15 to 20 percent still uh, in these markets uh, given there are certain sectors and certain stocks available at the right valuations uh, good afternoon kr this is vinnie joining in the conversation as well uh, you know you're talking about sector rotations picking up the right stock so where do you see that you know one could look at right now to you know be there in the right time at the right place Okay, uh, so there are two ways of looking at it. One is something like say, uh, we have to look for the stocks which is having a sales growth and a margin expansion. Or the other way of looking at it is something like say, okay, the stock is uh, something like say, a little bit lower sales growth and uh, not, not much of margin expansion or uh, I mean, not on the improvement on the balance sheet, but still is it available at a discount? Uh, so if it is available at a discount, then still, uh, I mean, like uh, there is a chance of making money. And there are certain, certain sectors which have been lulled for a longer period of time. And uh, those are all the sectors which are available now. Uh, to be, for example, there are certain sectors which we can look for or uh, to start with something like, say, agrochemicals and uh, even uh, something like, say, food to air industries are all, uh, I mean, like, uh, I would not say it as bottom out, but these are all the sectors which is coming into our radar. Um, sectorally, where is it that you see that opportunity? Because to my mind, just very select few private banks fall under that category wherein, you know, there is still some value on the table in terms of the stock price moves. Obviously, uh, private banks are, uh, I mean, like uh, very attractive in terms of relative valuation. Uh, but at the same time, other than private banks, uh, even these sectors also are offering opportunities. Uh, so there are certain stocks which are available at, uh, uh, I mean, like a very, uh, I mean, like a 20, 30 percent of a, a discount from the peak levels. And a still a slight change in the earnings can surprise us and uh, eventually both uh, earnings growth and re-rating can give us the money. some of the sectors and um, views really to watch out for but what's your view specifically on the metals because it's been one space that institutional investors tend to stay away from just because of the cyclicality and the timing of it being difficult um, is this metal cycle going to be any different so uh, if you take a cyclic cyclicality in terms of metals uh, sector as such uh, the i mean the worst performing sectors in the two year perspective not on a one year perspective two year perspective one among them is uh, something like say uh, metal index which has given around some 10 11% CAGR. Uh, leaving the one year aside uh, then uh, i think uh, now china i mean today the news is being something like say china uh, pmi has been improving manufacturing index has been moving uh, so still uh, there can be a chance, uh, but always uh, in the metal sector, we can't remove the cyclicality. Uh, so every time we have to, uh, I mean, evaluate uh, and then only we can take all. So still, uh, I mean, like uh, we can have some, kind, I mean, we can make some kind of money in those sector as well. What's your thought in terms of the chemical sector? Obviously, we've seen them under pressure in terms of the earnings that have come out so far in this year. Nothing exciting that has happened. Finally, do you think, you know, there are some green signs, positive signs coming in for the sector? Uh, so, in the last uh, quarter, when we analyzed the BSE 500, uh, which represents more than 90% of the market capitalization, uh, one of the sector which has eroded the margin. Uh, is uh, chemical sector. Uh, so, uh, I mean, the worst three sectors which has eroded the margin is uh, one among them is chemical sector as well. So, still, uh, I think in another one or two quarters that uh, margin erosion will go away. And uh, uh, if the sales growth slightly kicks in, uh, then eventually, uh, I mean, like uh, the green shoots can be, uh, I mean, further it can be a term one and uh, we can make a potential money on that as well. 
Uh, Kiar, you think uh, that it's a given that you've got to be exposed within the entire PSU pack to try and, um, uh, you know, get the best out of the current bull market? Uh, so PSU, we don't have much exposure as of now in our fund house. Uh, PSU being, uh, I mean, like uh, it was undervalued and uh, we played uh, to an extent uh, certain, over certain stocks. Uh, but as of now, we feel uh, it has been, uh, I mean, like uh, reasonably valued. And uh, we find that some other sectors and some other stocks can be a potential uh, money making in the coming years rather than uh, being in the PSUs. What are those spaces? Uh, something like say, uh, I mean, like uh, where uh, the one of the neglected sector is being something like say, uh, uh, I mean, like uh, everyone is moving towards EV, uh, but always we feel uh, something like say in IC also, uh, I mean, internal combustion engines also we can make some money. And uh, there are certain stocks which is derived out of ICE. Uh, uh, I mean, there are stating at attractive valuation, a good balance sheet, a derivative of ICE, I would say. Uh, so eventually, small change in the growth rate uh, can potentially give a good money on that. Let you go on that note. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us. But in the meantime, it is the small cap index which is.